Hi guys! Welcome to Squirrel's Bookshelf. I'm Jess, head squirrel. Do you want to be part of the video? <laughs> oh! <laughs> So, you might be asking yourself right about now, why is she calling herself a squirrel? You might not, but if you are, let me go ahead and tell you the story of Squirrel. So, my husband coined the nickname Squirrel for me a couple of years ago, but I don't really understand how it didn't come about sooner. It suits me so well. I'm a little bit nutty. I love trees. I actually want to be a tree when I die. There's a thing where your ashes can be put into a pod and help grow a new tree. How cool is that? Anyway, moving on from that though, my nickname was inspired, however indirectly, by three different books. So it all began one night when my husband and I were watching one of our favorite Disney films, The Sword in the Stone, which is of course based on T.H. White's classic novel of the same name. Now specifically in the Disney version, there is a scene in which Merlin turns himself and Wart a aka Arthur, into squirrels. Now in this scene, there's this female red-headed squirrel who sees Wart and instantly decides that he is going to be her mate for life. And whilst watching the film, my husband said, hey, it's you and it just kind of stuck. So that's where the name really came from. However, it very fortuitously happened to connect with another pre-existing element of my life. Now, for many years, I've done freelance graphic design work, and my website most recently has been trainsquirrels.com. Now, this web address was based on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, specifically the Tim Burton version with Johnny Depp, which is actually incredibly similar to the Roald Dahl book. Now, in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder, Veruca Salt's starring scene is with golden egg laying geese. But in the original story found in both of these, that scene actually revolves around squirrels. So Veruca sees all of these squirrels that are unshelling the nuts, and she decides she wants one. Daddy, I want a squirrel. And her dad says, sure, we'll get you a squirrel when we get home. And she says, I don't want just any squirrel. I want a trained squirrel. So that's where that came from. Has absolutely nothing to do with design, but I liked it. So luckily those two merge together very nicely. But then my nickname just kept evolving and my husband decided to lengthen it based on the classic story by Beatrix Potter, The Tale of Squirrel Nutkin. So then my nickname became Squirrel Nutkin. So it works with the whole book theme, albeit a little indirectly. It's still fun. So that's the story of Squirrel. But how did Squirrel's bookshelf arise? So I have always loved books growing up. My parents used to take my sister and I to bookshops consistently where they would buy us pretty much any book we wanted to read. And for many, many years, we had a tradition of going to Borders every single weekend, ordering some coffee and just browsing books. And I miss Borders so much. But that all being said, books were never the focus of my life or my career. It was just something to do for fun. Now that all changed when I met the love of my life and moved to the UK. So if you're in a situation where you've changed your name, you've changed countries, you've even changed what side of the road you're driving on, what more of an opportunity can you be given to reinvent yourself? So that's what I did. In trying to figure out what I could do in the freelance world, I started looking for part-time jobs, and specifically jobs in bookshops because I've always just thought it would be really fun to work in a bookshop. So I met this couple who owns an online secondhand bookstore, and they pretty much hired me on the spot, and I fell in love with the book world in a way I had never experienced before. Now, up until that point, my interests were always varied and scattered. My degree is in mathematics with a minor in music, but then I scooted off to work at Disneyland for a few years and then started working as a digital artist with a whole bunch of other hobbies and skills that I've picked up on the side. So I've really been a jack of all trades or just of all trades, if you will. And what I found with books in this incredible light bulb moment is they could give me a focus to all my different interests. There is really so much that goes in to books. So I ran with it. So now I still work at the bookstore where I repair books, I help input books into the system, I also sell secondhand books myself through the store, and then I started to go off on my own a little bit. I started seeing a lot of books coming through the store that were in such poor condition that they were headed straight toward the recycling bin, and I thought that surely I could figure out something to do with them. And that's how I started my first Etsy shop. So Ex Libris Artifacts is a shop, I'll link it down below, where I take books that are so worn that they're just beyond repair, and I turn them into pendants, which you can customize in a variety of sort of necklace or keychain options. Then I opened a second Etsy shop, which isn't exclusively book related, but I do have plans for some book elements to it. And that's called Blank Wall Fairy, and it's just affordable, downloadable artwork that you can print off and throw in a frame and decorate your home, because I love decorating. 
And then finally there's this YouTube channel, because basically I'm just a really big nerd and I just love so much learning about books that one, I just wanted to share my nerdy passion, but also even if nobody watches my channel, I can at least keep all of my thoughts and research in one place. That's basically the story behind my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you have ideas for future videos you'd like to see, I'd love to hear that. I am so open to seeing what this channel could become. Also, if you have any book recommendations, I would love to hear that, even though my reading list is ginormous. Is there anything else? I guess that's it for now. If you want to come with me on my pursuit of bookish nerdy exploits, you can always hit that subscribe button. And if you actually want notifications when I post new videos, once you have subscribed, you can ring the bell and be the first to know when I post new videos. I have a lot of them coming up and I'm very, very excited about it. Bye guys. Keep on reading.